What's up, y'all? I'm going to do a really quick tutorial on Koala Sampler again, as sort of a follow up to the last couple of videos I've done, except this time I'm not going to really focus as much on audio as I am MIDI. So uh, I'm going to basically get some audio into Koala and then we're going to come up with some synth sounds, create some chords using uh, MIDI controllers, and um, make a beat pretty much. So Let's get some sounds in, all right? Let's uh, go with audio share. Let's drag Koala in here. And uh, let's see. Oh, let me go to a new a new thing altogether. All right. So first thing we're going to do is grab some, some synth sounds, right? So uh, let's go into here and uh, boom, boom, boom. Let's grab some samples. Now, this just comes from a sample pack. For, uh, I think it's samples from Mars, free tape synths. And what I'm going to want to do is grab a, uh, a synth poly sound. And I'm going to want to look for C. Sure, C4, right? So let's go over here and go import file. Uh, press that, import. All right. Oh, wait. Here, let me, let me plug in the, the iPad here so you can hear it. All right. All right, there you go. So that's our synth sound for right now. Let's make this sound a little bit more interesting, and we're going to add another layer to it. So we're going to add another complete different synth sound and then resample that as two separate layers. What I'm going to use here is the good old Korg F. M Volca FM. So uh, let's just do this here. And I'm going to press that. Cool. So now we have our two sounds. And uh, let's uh, work on the release over here. And I'm going to... Cool. Let's go into the effects here. Let's add a little bit of reverb. Let's take down the high end a little bit. And uh, maybe add some, um, some delay here. So... Oh, that should make a wonderful pad sound. So now we're going to go over here and resample from app and cool. Let's go over here and normalize it. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's take off the effects. All right. So now, so what we can do here is. Cool. Uh, let's. Uh, all right. So now that we have that set up, we can we can uh, uh, you know p do some polyphonic sequencing here. Let's add in the KB1 Suite. This is a wonderful, useful app. Um, and so it has different modes. You can do your regular keyboard mode or you can do chord mode. And this is what I want to show you is how you can basically come up with some chords very easily here. So uh, keyboard layout, we're going to go to chord. Uh, I only want one octave. Uh, let's, yeah, sure, space them apart. Um, scale, no. Let's go with Lydian. Let's go up to, to D as a root node. Uh, chord type, I want to go with sevenths and uh, inversion. Sweet. So now we should get some really interesting stuff here. And I haven't set the MIDI output yet. The MIDI output should be virtual output. So now... That sounds nice. Let's go an octave down, see how that sounds.
Sweet. So now let's resample these uh, chords. Uh, so it's already in resample mode. So I'm just going to hold this down. Okay. Make sure that it's highlighted. It's going to be uh, outlined in red. Make sure that it's back on here or else it's going to uh, do polyphonic mode on um, whatever is highlighted, right? So let's go over here and press the second chord. So now let's uh, let's go back. Whoa, sorry about that. Let's go back to Audio Share and let's grab a bass tone and let's just come up with a, a the bass. Uh, so let's see, funkiest funkiest Moog. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and let's once again find a good C note. Um, sure. All right, so now I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go, oops, let's not do that. Let's go import file. Boom, boom, boom. Let's import over there. So now we can go into sequence and choose this. That just sounds gross in the lower registers. <laughs> but I kind of like it. I got to admit. All right. So now let's go back to um, KB1. And let's change the mode over here. So as opposed to having uh, the chord layout, let's go to the, um, the classic layout here. Right? So done. Hmm. Let's go an octave up. Ooh. Awesome. You know what I want? I kind of want, um, oh, Blox Wave is sending me some notification. I kind of want just a drum pattern uh, to, to, um, to play along with, right? So let's just find any old drum pattern. Boy, that's a lot of samples. I mean, that's a lot of folders there. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So let's go into uh, break five. Cool. All right. Let's do that. Import. That'll do. All right. Um, oh, so let's go over here and go one shot and loop. So, um,
Cool. So now we have... So, yeah, that's, that's it. Um, all right. One thing I want to do now, now that we have all of our sounds and we kind of uh, need to uh, be able to trigger multiple things at the same time, but that kind of gets difficult, um, and it would be really nice if I could just have one pad to trigger all of this, right? That can be done. Um, so... So let's uh, let's go into another one of my favorite. Uh, let's go into another one of my favorite apps, and this is Chord Poly Pad. And what Chord Poly Pad can do is um, is you can create chords. Well, that is really cool because you 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 can do something like this. <laughs> sort of some garbage chord progressions I was coming up with, right? But if you clear out. Cool. So now that those are cleared out, let's go into sequencer mode, get rid of the keyboard. The next thing we're going to want to do uh, is go into settings. Uh, not that go into settings and go into MIDI and map MIDI, right? So now we can choose this and we can map that to C over here and we'll just hit that. Cool, it's mapped, right? So um, let's also map uh, Let's map this chord and this bass part to go along with this on the same pad. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. So let's undo that. Let's go over here and hit boom. And now play it. Cool. Now it's mapped. Let's undo that. Let's go over here and let's hit D and play it. Cool. So now we can also do the same thing over here, but remember we need to map all three of those. Cool. Let's go on to the next thing here. Um, so we already have this drum part mapped to C, and we have this uh, chord and this bass note mapped to uh, uh, D and E. So let's go over here, and let's just go to the next two. All right, and boom. Oh, no. I did that wrong. All right. Nope. Okay, there you go. Now it's mapped to F. Okay, let's take that off. And let's go over here and go to... And now, boom. Cool. And that's your next pad. Let's go on to the next pad. Let's go to the next two. And we're going to want to go over here and hit that and hit A. All right, so now that's mapped. We go over here and we're going to want to hit B and hit that. Sweet. So now, remember, we're, gonna, we're just drums and these two, drums and these two, drums and these two, right? One last one. So now, let's go over here and go C. Boom, that's mapped. Let's undo that. Let's do that and go D. So that's mapped. So now let's enter that chord in. Let's go uh, stop mapping. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. Why is that not doing that? Let's, uh, no, no, no. Okay, let's not go there. Let's choose this one. Let's get rid of that and let's map that to. Cool. So now. Let's go stop mapping and. <laughs> Right? So now we're launching multiple things at the same time here, multiple, multiple pads. Cool. Right? It's just as simple as that. Let's uh, edit this. So now it, 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 uh, let's go into choke group and yeah, let's go choke group one. So now we can go.
you get the idea, right? Um, so yeah, that's basically how you can use MIDI controllers with Koala Sampler to launch multiple clips and to create chords, to create melodies and bass lines. Um, it's a fantastic workflow, man. Uh, you got to try it. Peace.